Hi everyone, Flora Sage here. So this week we've been talking all about what to do when things aren't working. We don't change the goal, we change the plan. Yesterday we looked at actually how you can change the plan, how you can find a new plan of action. Well today we're gonna look at when to know when to actually change the goal. So if you haven't um, decided on a specific goal for your life or your business for the next six months or year, I recommend that you do that. But these are for the people who have goals, who are finding it really challenging to actually reach and meet those goals. So if you haven't watched the first two videos from this week, go ahead and watch those first and then come back to this one. <laughs> but when you have tried everything and you're still not reaching the goal, ask yourself, should I change the goal? Like when do I know when to change the goal? And how you know when to change your goal is first and foremost, your life has changed, so that goal that you set is no longer relevant, okay? Another thing is if the shift in perception or perspective about your life has changed. So I have this fabulous story that I share with all of my clients. It's called The Fisherman and the Businessman. And it talks about how there's this fisherman who goes out and fishes for just, you know, half a day, comes back, and he fishes for just enough food for him and his family and his friends. And he takes a nap, he has a nice leisurely dinner, and he hangs out with his friends and listens to music, and this businessman comes up to him and is just like, so have you ever thought to expand and get a bigger boat? And he's like, so why would I get a bigger boat? And the businessman then basically proceeds to tell him if you get a bigger boat, you can fish more, you can get more fish, you can um, create a big company, a business, you could go out and get a fleet of boats, and you can work 24 seven and build this huge big conglomerate corporation of fishermen and fish, and you know, fish, uh, you know, like distribution, and then, after all of that is said and done, then you can sell the company, retire, get a small boat, go out, fish for just enough fish for yourself, come back, take a nap, hang out with your friends and family the rest of the day. And the fisherman's like, um, but that's what I do now. So why would I build this huge thing to sell it and just go back to where I'm at right now? And so many times I see entrepreneurs who have this big pipe dream, who want to make millions and have this jet setting lifestyle or build this massive corporation. And when they talk about it with me, I'm like, but your energy is dropping. Like, is this really what you want or is this what people are telling you that you want? And so one of the things that I would really encourage you to do is to really ask yourself, okay, what are my goals? And do I really want that? Or do I still want that? You know, because as your life changes, as you go through different phases of your life, your goals are gonna morph and ebb with those changes. So years ago, I became a mom. I'm still a mom, <laughs> but now I'm an empty nester. So my kids are out of the house. So my goals now are very different than they were when my kids were at home, like physically living with me. Now they have their own lives, they're in the military, they're off in their duty stations, and I live a very different life now than I did when they were home. So of course now, naturally, my goals have shifted and changed. And so this is one of the reasons why Again, I recommend to review your goals, look at them, especially if you have a goal and trying to get to that goal isn't working. Like no matter what you do, it's not working. And if you apply what we talked about yesterday, it's still not working. Stop and ask yourself, do you really still want this? This is gonna save you so much time. If you still want what you say you want, Ask yourself, okay, am I willing to take action? Because if you're not willing to take action, you don't really want what you say you want, okay? If you're not willing to do the work to build an email list or to build an audience or to scale your business, you don't really want it. 
If you're not taking action to lose that 50 pounds, you don't really want it, okay? If you don't take action to get out of debt, you don't really want it. And some people might say, well, yeah, but I'm afraid about this and that. Everybody's afraid. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing. Nobody knows if what they're, they do is actually gonna result in the result that they're hoping for or they want. They don't know this until they take action. You can know about something all day long, but until you take action, all of your knowledge means nothing because you're not putting it into action. So today, I would encourage you to look at the goals that you have and ask yourself, do I still want this? Is this truly 100, 1,000%, <laughs> okay? Is this truly what I still want? If the answer is no, okay, tweak it. Scrap it all, all together and start over or just say, yes, I still want this, but in a little bit of a different way. So tweak it and then say, okay, perfect. Now, what can I do to get here? And that is where your strategic plan of action comes into play, okay? So if you want my help in figuring out the goals that you really should be or, you know, maybe focusing on right now, and again, you know, I talk to people every single day about setting goals, about building their businesses, about creating the life that they really truly want. And so many times people are, are too vague with their goals. I wanna live a healthier lifestyle. Okay, that's too vague. What do you really mean by healthier lifestyle? Do you mean getting away from toxic relationships? Do you mean stop drinking? Do you mean working out 30 minutes a day? So if you want my help in figuring out how to truly create the type of life that you want, and we're gonna look at your goals or the lack of goals, and I'm gonna help you create a, a, a strategic plan of action and give you some strategies and give you some ways to start looking at what you're doing and what you're not doing in a way so that you truly can start to see progress and see results. But I'm here to tell you, if you're not willing to take action, I don't wanna to talk to you, <laughs> seriously, because I don't, want, I don't want you to waste my time and I don't wanna waste your time talking with you about something that you have no intention of doing. So if you are ready to take action and you want help, click the link below, sign up for a free strategy session, and we're gonna make magic happen, all right? Okay, I love you all, I hope this serves you, and I'll speak with you soon, bye.